Gamers, welcome to week five of P4G, where we face off against Hoodcow Callum, one of the OGs of the Pokemon community. If you have been living under a rock, make sure to go check him out if you haven't heard of him. He is phenomenal, such a fantastic, lovely person and um, very good at the game also. Um, we have made some trades and also this is a post commentated battle for circumstances that I will get into in a moment. But we made some transfers, we have some fun things on the team now and uh, yeah, it's looking fun, it's looking good. Um, as you can see, he brought the Regidrago, the Vicar Vault, the Lapras, who can Terra, the Shaman, Pheasantipity and the uh, Alamomola. So I was like, well, Fez, uh, Moltres looks like a decent lead. He doesn't really have a good switch into it. So we're going to go ahead and lead with Moltres and start breaking immediately. So that is what I do. We are going to click Fire Blast on turn one and see where we go from there. So he leads with Fez and Skibbity. And I'm just like, well, fuck it. We ball. I'm going to click Fire Blast. Now, boys, the reason that this battle is post commentated, and not only is it post commentated, I did not play this battle. Uh, physically um, I was not at home on the time that I needed to battle Callum I didn't want to reschedule or anything like that I was just like you know what if I have the means we're gonna do it we're just gonna make everyone's lives easier we're gonna get this battle out of the way and we're gonna get on with our merry live um, so he's gonna u-turn go out into his I think he goes out into his Lapras as we fire blast um, so yeah, I'm not actually physically playing this game. I am in a Discord call telling my fiance what buttons to press and we miss Fire Blast turn one. And already I'm just like, fuck this game, man. I'm so over this game. This isn't Callum's fault. This isn't anyone's fault. Um, it's just, I, I am not in a good place right now. Um, and so we're going to move on to why is this game post commentated and why weren't you playing on your Switch? Well, that is a good question, gamers. Um, unfortunately, um, my my brother, my dear brother, who I love very, very much, has unfortunately been diagnosed with cancer. So for the last week, I have been staying at his house, the other side of the country, just visiting him, seeing how he's getting on, supporting him during his treatment. And, uh, and yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on in my life right now. So as you can imagine, I've had a pretty shit time recently. Um, and a Pokemon battle is the kind of last thing that I wanted to do, but I was like, you know what? I made a commitment to my friends. I'm not going to drop from the league. We're just going to keep on trucking. We're going to do our best and we are going to keep, keep the gay little people on my phone happy. Um, POV, that is you. Um, and if you're not gay, then, um, it's pride month. What are you doing? Um, <laughs> I'm going on a tangent already. If you guys came here to actually see like a, a good battle or like a, a well thought out coherent commentary, you have come to the wrong place, my friends. Go and check out Callum's side because this is going to be 15 minutes of rambling and just talking about my life and where we're at right now. Um, spoiler alert, it's not a good place. Um, he goes into Vicar Vault, by the way, which completely just threatens out my Furugarath and what it wants to do. And he goes to Bug Buzz and fucking destroys me. And now I truly do not have a switch into this Pokemon. Um, not looking good. And now I'm like, well, I know he's got a fairy type in the back, but I kind of just have to damage what's in front of me because it's a threat. And I know this is a stupid play, locking myself into outrage when there is a fairy type and also a fucking fish on the other team at full health but i'm just like i don't think i have any other alternative i think i just have to click outrage and maybe kill this vicar vault so that's what we're gonna do and uh, as you can see that does no damage flygon you are fucking dog shit why did i pick you up um but yes anyway back back to life and circumstances and the reasons behind this battle and why what's happening um, so yes, reminder that I am not physically playing this game. I'm in a Discord call on my phone because I didn't take a laptop or anything like that to my brothers. It was a last minute decision to go drive down and see him. Um, I'm on my phone. I'm telling Jack which buttons to press. There's a lot of lag. There's there's the radio playing in the, in the house that I'm staying in. There are, there are children. Um, so my mind's not in the clearest of but it's okay because we can still win this game we have we have um, manual rain and a float saw um 
yep, <laughs> I made I made changes so the rain would function better and then decided, you know what, fuck it, I'm not going to bring Politoed. I'm going to bring manual rain just to style on this man. Um, and now we're in a position where Crawfish is in in front of the fucking fish. So you know what, I've had enough. I'm going for Sword Stance and I'm going to click a button. So Crawfish is going to do just that. Um, I can't even remember what I'm, I talked about in this battle. I'm gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, boys. I've already recorded this post commentary once, and my OBS didn't have my microphone recording for some reason. So, you know, I'm I'm in a I'm in a great place right now mentally. Definitely, definitely do not need to have a crisis team intervene with my life or you know an, an uptake of medications or anything like that that would be silly no i'm i'm in a great mental space right now um quillfish has gone for sword stance and now it is time to click throat chop and maybe get a kill i didn't want to go for gunk shot because this thing can terror and also i could miss and let's be honest if i clicked it i would have so we're just gonna go for throat chop and just hope it kills the slap press. so that's exactly what we're gonna do um, I can't even, I, I can't remember what I was talking about. Um, I, I want to preface this by saying, um, Callum has brought a fantastic team, whereas I have not. And the saltiness in my voice right now, um, is not directed at Callum. It is directed to life taking a gigantic turd on me in general recently. Uh, but we do manage to pick up a KO. The first KO of the game is going to go for Crawfish, so I do love that for us. Um, that crit also definitely mattered, um, so I guess we're just the better gamer though. So eat shit, Callum, I guess. Uh, now we get to go into Roger Drago here though, which is not great, because um, as I mentioned before, I did not build this team, nor did I really have any time or just the right mentality or headspace to look at the matchup at all. Um, because if I did do that, um, I would have seen that my opponent has in fact got this Roger Drago and come to the conclusion that, ha, huh, I should probably bring Whimsicott to this game. But uh, unfortunately, didn't do that. And now we are going to be punished for it. So Roger Drago, basically every time this mon comes in, it's gonna get a kill, which is not good. Um, but it's okay because we've still got our means and things to do and here I'm just like well I don't really want to lock myself into outrage again because he's got a whole ass pheasant skibbity But earthquake is also not good because he's got a fucking sunfish and he's got vicar vault which just doesn't care about earthquake at all And I'm I'm just thinking well, which which move do I lock myself into? I'm just like well fuck it. I'm just gonna earthquake Callum is going to withdraw and go into Gigi, Gigi, whichever, the fucking ag ugly fat cunt of a fish. And uh, that earthquake is not even going to do 30% Flygon. You are an absolutely fucking terrible Pokemon. I can't believe I picked you up. You have not been a real Pokemon since generation three, which generation you are fraudulent in anyway. It's probably not true. I didn't play gen three OU. It was probably really good then because, you know, power creep wasn't a thing and that fairy types also aren't a thing so i imagine flygon was actually pretty fucking decent back in the gen 3 days however this is not gen 3 this is gen 9 we are six generations ahead and uh, flygon has been suffering suffering more than i have um and uh yeah now we're in with jolteon and he baton passes into i think he goes into pheasant skibbity here i can't quite remember Calmia, that is not pheasant skibbity that is the shaman now this shaman is a bit of a fucking problem because as you can see boys he reveals leech seed which isn't great for me and at this point i'm basically praying please don't be fast or please don't have substitute I can deal with one of the th those things, I can't deal with both of them. So if if you could not substitute, or if you could not have any speed on this on the Shaman, that's going to be fucking wonderful. Um, unfortunately, he reveals substitute, and at this point I'm just like, well, fuck's sake, I this is not good for me. And he is going to reveal that he is also faster. He is a fast subseed Shaman, which is just absolutely catastrophic for us um fantastic bring on Callum's behalf by the way like really great prep from my opponent 
and he is in a very commanding position right now as most of my pieces are not built to deal with this and at this point I realize that my Ferrugaraf is Kunchu and it's not Sap Zipper so I'm really I'm really just I'm not having a good time we go into Flygon on the predicted substitute just to click U-turn and break it and then I think go out into Moltres but yeah. At this point, I'm pretty much, I've, I've checked out the battle. Uh, to be honest, boys, I checked out this battle turn one. I really didn't want to play this game. Um, and to be honest, I wasn't sure if I was going to continue with the season when I got the news about my brother. Um, but like I say, I made a commitment to my friends. I don't want to let anyone down. So we're just, we're going to keep going and we're going to give it our all. We are still going to, you know, we're going to play for our best. We're going to try and hope for playoffs. Is it a very optimistic uh, hope at this point? Yeah, but is that gonna make me, you know, give up? No, absolutely not. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna fight. We are gonna keep fighting. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna do our best um, because that's all we can do. So, Shaman gonna get a kill on my Furigaraf there. And I'm contemplating at this point what to go out into because if he has any sort of coverage other than seed flare on his on his shaman it's gonna take out my Moltres from where it's at but i don't really know what to do i <laughs> i'm just fighting for my life at this point um and i opt to go out into flygon in the end and once again click u-turn um so my my nickname for this thing is uh it's it's fairly accurate one could say it is uh it is law accurate u-turn exe is clicking u-turn who would have thunk it who would have thunk it uh cal is gonna stay in and probably get the slow substitute off as i go for u-turn at this point really just quashing any kind of will i have to live left um <laughs> There's no, absolutely no ill will towards Callum um, at all. He played this game and prepped for this game phenomenally. And uh, we are once again clicking U-turn, boys. We are clicking U-turn. And uh, it's not going to break the sub. So <laughs> at this point, I think I just start crying. Because, uh, you know, I've, I've had a shitter of a week. And now... I'm losing a battle in which I really could have used a win for, you know, for the playoff race and all that stuff. Um, but at the same time, I'm actually really happy for Cal. Like, I want him to pop off. I want him to succeed because it's been his first time in a draft league in like six years. So, you know, if he wins this game, I, I'm not even going to be upset because, you know, he, he deserves it. He's done some great prep. He's played really well so far. And uh, it's always nice seeing a friend pop off and go crazy. So we're gonna you turn out and break the sub that the shaman was hiding behind. We're gonna go out and out into our Moltres, I think, and just pretty much just sack it at this point. Hoping that he doesn't click substitute again and uh, he's actually just gonna go for seed flare. He doesn't kill me, but I do die to another one. Maybe he can miss. Um, so I'm just hoping at this point for a little little bit of rng going my way but uh no he reveals the air slash at this point and moltres is going to go down not great not great boys i i'm not gonna lie breaking the shaman was harder than giving up food let me tell you let me tell you this is more problematic than jeffrey epstein on an island full of miners i don't know why my brain decided to make that joke um, please do not cancel me. Uh, you know what? Just j maybe, maybe you should cancel me. Maybe that would finally give me an excuse to stop posting on the internet. Um, <laughs> maybe I'll finally go and touch some grass. Good lord. Um, we're gonna go for the outrage, and once again, this fucking fat motherfucker gets to come in and just sit here and be fat and make me even more depressed than I already am. And uh, yeah, that outrage did the square sum of zero. And as he pivots out in a moment, he's going to get all that health that I just did to him back because Regenerator is a fun ability. Am I right, fellas? Um, <laughs> so Kyle's going to make a good play into Pheasantipity here. 
and I am gonna try and maybe potentially catch him on a double, but no, he goes for baton pass because he has no reason to hard switch out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go into Jolteon, hoping to catch some sort of double there, but unfortunately Callum's a good player and goes for the slow baton pass. And now Roger Drago gets to claim a kill. And I'm just like, well, fuck me. I, there's nothing I could do. What, what can I do at this point? And the answer is nothing. Jolteon is going to go down. And uh, at, at this point, I'm just like, you know what, let's, let's just... Let's just, let's just get it over with. Let's just click Outrage. Let's, let's try and kill this Red Drago. I, I am done. I am finished. I don't think it matters what button I press. Let him just go into Pheasant Skibbity and just kill my remaining two mons. I just, I want to get out of here. I want to go sing in the rain. I want to go make myself a cup of tea. I want to go and hug my family. I want to go and visit my fiance the other end of the fucking country. I want to burst out into tears and, and just, uh, yeah, just anything other than playing a Pokemon battle right now is uh, what I wanted to do. And uh, he's going to go into the fish once again take no damage from whatever this uh, fucking Flygon wants to do. This, this, I may as well played this game for uh, 5v6 because this Flygon was just fucking terrible. What an absolutely awful Pokemon. Um, he's gonna go into Pheasantipity, good play. Playing around, like he's playing around my pieces really well. So Callum absolutely 100% deserves to win this game. Um, and I'm gonna think, well, maybe he'll go for U-turn here or do a double or something. I'm just gonna stay in and click Outrage and just see, you know, maybe we'll catch um, Vicavolt come in on, on the double to float saw. But alas, I, uh, I made the wrong prediction once again. Um, and now I'm just like, well, I'm locked into Outrage and he's clearly not gonna swap. So I guess I have to go out into float saw and live a hit. As he reveals the alluring voice, we take that relatively well. And I'm just going to click Wave Crash, because, I mean, why not, right? He's going to U-turn, and I swear to God, if I see this fucking fish come out in front of me, I am just going to end it all. I'm, I'm, I might just forfeit the battle. I, I honestly might. I, 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 I might. I might just, I might end it all, boys. I just, I don't know. I just, uh, watching this back is painful. Um, <laughs> but, you know... With the circumstances and with everything going on in my life, I think I can be a little bit kinder to myself. In the grand scheme of things, you know, this doesn't matter. Even if I made playoffs or made championship, even if I won the title, none of this matters because we're all going to die. That's the lesson I want to give you guys for this video. Nothing matters, truly. Um, and uh, we don't even get to pick up a KO, um, but... It's a good thing uh, he went for dragon energy, I guess, because uh, Floatzel lives and we get a second knockout. Let's fucking go, boys. It's not a 5-0. Can we get it down to a 3-0, perhaps? Let's see. Um, no, because Pheasant Skibbity outspeeds me and uh, ruins my day. Truly ruins my day. That is the fastest Pheasant Skibbity in the fucking West, by the way. Callum is going to withdraw, not wanting to take a Earthquake slash Outrage or whatever. Um, and this, this fucking fish, man. He has given me so much just bad vibes. Um, yeah. Uh, fucking Sunfish with 55 base attack. Um, got more KOs in this game than Flygon ever could. So take that how you will. GG to Callum, um, you played really well. Thank you for the game. I'm very sorry that this video has come across as really shitty and horrible towards you. I promise you, um, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not directed towards you, Cal. It's just directed to life. I, I'm, I'm, I'm finished at the moment. I, mentally, I've checked out. I, I simply have transcended wanting to be here at this point in time. Um, if you guys did enjoy this train wreck of a post commentary, please do like the video. And if you want to see a more coherent and competitive side, please do check out Cal's side. Uh, links in the description to that down below. Um, yeah. Not a good week from your girl, but I'm sorry for letting you guys down once again. But we are just, I'm, I'm going to keep going. I, God knows, I'm just, I'm going to try. I, I want to try. I want to try and prove myself. 
Um, not that I owe anything to anybody, but I want to do it for myself. I want to see if I can get to playoffs. It's going to be really fucking hard to do it. Um, and we fight Play More next week, which has arguably the best team in the league and one of the best coaches as well. So it's going to be really fucking hard. But you know what? I'm harder. Question mark? Okay, before any more sexual innuendos come out of my mouth, I'm going to go... I'm going to go pet my dogs, make myself a cup of tea, maybe drown myself in ice cream and chocolate. And yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.